It's Dr. Melody Moore here with a love bomb for you. Have you ever considered what would happen, what would be possible if you could drop the effort toward being right? Toward being right. Like, I'm going to win this, or I'm going to make sure my point is heard, or I'm going to prove something, or I'm not going to be the victim or be made full of in this moment. All of us, every one of us gets caught up from time to time in wanting to prove and wanting to win and wanting to be right. But what happens when that's our attitude, not even our style of being, just our attitude sometimes, is we end up losing connection to what's available to us in the present moment. And we end up losing connection to the person or to the group of people with whom ultimately, really deep down, we long for them to see us and to approve of us and to love us. And so when we have that urge to be right, to make a point, to, to talk back, to argue. It's really important to know, I think, how, how that lands in your body so that you can be informed of like, oh, look what's coming up for me. My ego wants to get into the proving of this moment. And to be able to find ways to self-soothe so that you can find calm within yourself and reapproach the situation as though your aim isn't to be right. Your aim is to be in connection. Your aim is to be present to yourself and to those who are with you. And if you're in a relationship, any intimate relationship, you can think of it like there's a third. There's you and you could win and you could be right. There's me and the same could be true. Or we both could be in agreement or even if it's just me <laughs> or I can be in agreement, I can hold sacred the third. What's between us? This other being that we've co-created and co-manifested. And if instead of wanting to win an argument, instead of wanting to make a point, prove something, I can keep my heart open to that third, to that space that we've co-created, that's our relationship, and I can want the relationship to win, or I can want to foster more understanding, more compassion, more known, more acknowledgement in the relationship instead of for me the relationship is going to succeed so much easier. And ultimately, I'm going to get what I want, which is to be loved and seen and heard and to see and love and hear the other. So that's my encouragement today. It's a task and it's a challenge and it's a process. But what if, what if you could notice the need to be right as it's occurring in your body, find ways to ground, meet your own equilibrium, self-soothe, and keep in mind that there's something between you or between you and a group of people, and that's the thing that you might hold as sacred instead of your own ego. <laughs> Not easy, but so full of love. I hope you've enjoyed this love bomb.